our series. In this session, I will talk about the differentiation and integration of the power series. And we may guess in power series, we're looking at the power function. And in order to take the derivative or integrate a power form, it's quite easy exercise. Let's check this, x to the power of n. What is the derivative with respect to x? We all know n, x, n minus one. Yeah, so we remember this formula and this will, this will work uh, for n, n value because n is the counting numbers. Okay, and the same thing when we have a power function and we would like to integrate with respect to x. Yes. X to the x to the power of n, the integral is x to the power of n plus one all over n plus one plus the constant of integration. We remember we in excluding negative one from n, but since n is a counting numbers, it depends. We let's say one, two, three and so on, we good for all of the n values. That means that's basically what we will do in order to differentiate and integrate. Okay? Also, just maybe to be, before we look at the power series expressions, when we have to differentiate, for instance, like when we have a constant, let's say five x to the power of n. Yeah? We will follow the same formula, but constant always stays constant, doesn't really take part of the differentiation formula. The Def derivative of the constant, uh, I mean, oh, no, 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 it's not just the constant, it's a constant multiple. Constant will stay and we will just differentiate uh, a function, okay? That's, mean we, oh, that's also important, copy a constant and differentiate the function. The same for the integral, let's say five x to the power of n, integral, we will hold a constant because it's a constant multiple and integrate, integrate a main function. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's mean, please also remember to not change the, co the constant because the coefficient of the power series, it will consider as a constant. We will differentiate and integrate everything what is what has x variable, not n. Mm, okay, that means let's see. This is the power series. We remember the general formula, C sub n, x minus a to the power of n, and we may differentiate and integrate because it's the addition of the power forms. That means we will differentiate and integrate each term, individual term, term by term. Okay, that mean, uh, let me actually, I can do here, Let's actually do the derivative. For instance, we would like to find the derivative of f of x, having the domain, the set of x that is give us the, the convergence. Okay, that means we will differentiate okay, the power series, c sub n x minus a to the power of n. And let's just work on the compact form, not the expanded form. Okay, that's what I will do. I will, we will still have a summation. We will copy a constant. This is a constant and derivative of x minus a to the power of n is n x minus a to the power of n minus one. For differentiation, we have to be a little bit careful because if the first term was a constant, after the expanded, expanding terms, expanded form. Derivative of the constant is zero. That's we we missing, we will miss the first term. Then we will start from one, okay? But always we have to check because if the first term is not constant, then we're not missing the first term, we're not losing the first term, okay? But basically this is my point, n x minus a to the power of n minus one just the derivative. And the same, let's integrate f of x with respect to x, integral of the power series, c sub n, x minus a to the power of n, dx. Uh, we will just 
individual terms. That means we will still have summation. We're not losing any terms. Actually, opposite. We're gaining a constant. Copy a constant. Always copy and just integrate x minus a to the power of n. x minus a to the power of n plus 1 all over n plus 1 plus the constant of integration. And that means this is, even if we have that minus a, please do not be discouraged, okay? That means that's, that's everything. <laughs> Let's look at my typing, beautiful typing. Differentiation, term by term. This is a power series. This is actually the expanded form. Yes, c sub 1, c sub 0, c sub 1, x minus a to the power of 1, to the power of 2, 3, 4. And when we look here, I did differentiate term by term. x minus a to the power of 1, I mean c sub 1 times x, derivative is just c sub 1, c sub 1 times x squared, because we will carry minus 2, minus a, but we may say shortly x squared is 2x, x cubed is 3x squared, x to the power of 4, 4x cubed, and so on. Just the formula. But we can see derivative of the constant is 0. That means we're losing the first term, I suppose, to start with 1. Because we, okay, we will start with, we can see c sub 1. Always when we're losing the first term after the derivative. And let's just double check. Uh, yeah, the compact form, the sigma form, uh, derivative of this formula, it will be, we will copy c sub n and just differentiate x minus a to the power of n, n, x minus a, n minus 1. Yeah? That means derivative of the sum is the sum of the derivatives. That's the property, okay? Just differentiate term by term. And respectively, the same for the integration. Integration power series, okay, and then we will integrate. Integral of constant is constant times x. Integral of x to the power of 1 is x to the power of 2 over 2, and copy all of the constant coefficient. x squared is x cubed over 3, x to the power of 4 over 4, and so on. x to the power of n is x to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1, and we're gaining a constant. Integral of the sum of the terms is the sum of integrals. Well, we just integrating term by term because we're still thinking about the power series convergent, convergent. That's mean, and then we can do this. And couple of notes, we will do a couple of examples, couple of notes. That's mean we, of course, differentiating term by term, integrating term by term. Uh, in uh, radius, after taking the derivative or integral, radius will stay the same. Radius of convergence will stay the same. But the interval, the endpoints, we may double check because they can change. Okay. And differentiating or integrating a power series is a powerful tool because it's useful to get some functions like power series representation for the function and especially solving some differential equations. Because we know most of the um, important differential equations are not exactly solvable directly and explicitly. We need to use some approximation, power series representation, and we will discuss this later. Okay, let's just solve a couple of examples and you will be good. I mean, you are good to differentiate and in differentiating and integrating a power function. Okay. Let's look at this one. We remember that Bessel function, it's the, the domain, the interval of convergence is actually all of the numbers. That's we good, we fine. And it's definitely differentiable for all x. And let's find the derivative. Yeah? I mean, I do have a function. I have the expanded form. I typed the expanded form. Substituting for n0, we will get 1. Substituting for n1, we will get negative term. This will be 2 to the power of 2, 1 factorial squared x to the power of 2, and so on. Substituting, yeah, you can check the formula and substitute 2, substitute 3, substitute 4, and so on. This one was 1, this one was 0. 
because we did start with zero. Okay, but what we can do, let's take J sub zero and differentiate. I can just, maybe actually, I can differentiate term by term. Derivative of one is zero. And now we remember, we will copy all of the constant and just differentiate um, variable. X squared is two X. Yes, and then again, copy everything what it was. I can maybe copy, that's constant. Yes, constant is not changing. It's just the, it's just the constant multiple for factorial two. And then just differentiating the variable four X cubed, six X to the power of five, eight X to the seven. Oh, we may, and that's it. We may maybe simplify something, but we don't have to. Let's actually use the sigma notation. We can see we're losing one term. That's mean I will start from one. Yeah, this is still the derivative, j sub zero, j prime. Okay, that's mean what I have. Looking at the sigma form, yeah, how we can do it. I will copy negative one to the n. I will copy two to the two, and that's how I did. I copy. I will copy n factorial squared, okay? And what I will do? I will just differentiate x to the power of two n. Two n, x to the power of two n minus one. Two n minus one, okay? That's mean if we just need the sigma form, you can just provide this. And you can see that's, the green corresponds to this one. That's the derivative, but that's the sigma form, that's the expanded one. Please remember, just taking this, oh, it's okay, I can use, just taking the variable, nothing else, everything else, it's copy. Okay, now the same function, but let's, you can see the same, but let's integrate. Let's integrate. And uh, let's find an integral of j sub zero dx. Okay, it's mean integral of one is one x. And now integral and the same thing. Uh, you can see I can copy a constant because it's a constant multiple. 2 to the power of 6, 3 factorial squared. Oh, I think, I oh know, it's okay. 2 to the power of 8. I thought that I messed up the end of that. Okay, and what we will do? Just integrate. x to the power of 2 is x to the power of 3 over 3. x to the power of 5 over 5. x to the power of 7 over 7. Oh, something wrong? No, okay. And x to the power of nine over nine. Did I differentiate correctly? Oh, yes, yes. I just, um, okay. I was just looking at, okay. That's mean we are, where, let's come back. This, we can see the green part is just the differentiate, uh, integration, just the integration. Okay, and if we like, we can use the j sub zero x dx, okay? just the sigma. That's mean that I can actually write integral of the summation. I didn't put negative one to the n x to the power of two n, uh, two to the two n n factorial squared dx. That's mean the integral of the sum is just the sum of integration. And we can actually, maybe let me write this way. We will copy that constant, that constant, this one, but we will just integrate, we will just integrate x to the power of 2n. Okay. Uh, oh, and the, oh, let me erase. I will just integrate this part. Okay, because I don't have enough room. Integral of this is x to the power of 2n plus 1 all over 2n plus 1. And we can see we are adding 1, 3, 3, 5, 5, 7, 7. That's mean all of the green notation corresponds to sigma. That's mean that's what yeah, we will just integrate that part. Okay, everything. Now, exercise number three. Differentiate the 
the following power series. Wow, so easy, right? Uh, let's let's actually get the expanded form because then we will see something if we're losing or not losing the first term. The first term is x to the power of one. X, I mean x to the power of zero. X to the power of one. X to the power of two, three. For actually, it's the geometric one. We remember, okay. So mean now, in order to differentiate, okay, we will differentiate this one plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the power of four and so on. So mean this will be derivative is oh, okay, it's zero, and then derivative is one. 2x, 3x squared, 4x cubed, and so on. That's me losing. Okay, that's me now. I can rewrite this, the sigma notation. Let's just get the sigma notation. Oh, actually, we, we even see. Let me look at the pattern. And then we, we can see we have one. Yes, we can see. I um, If I would like to look at this expanded form and get the sigma, that's in what I see. I see x to the power of 1, x to the power of 2, x to the power of 3, and the coefficient is 1 less. That means we have x to the power of n, okay, which I can start with 0. Correct. I can start with n zero, but then the coefficient is one less, n minus one. That's me. Yeah, that's actually. Yeah. But this formula that I just wrote is realizing the pattern from this line above. Yeah. I just added this one, which we normally not do this for the derivative, and that makes sense. N is zero. Then we will have the first term. N is one, we will have one. Oh, actually, actually, the coefficient is one more. Oh, it's good that I double checked. Uh, n to the power of zero, and then zero plus one, n to the power of one, and then one plus one, n to the power of two, two plus one. Okay, the coefficient is uh, actually two more. The power is one less, I probably was thinking. Okay, now it's the, let me write just n plus one, a little bit more clear. n plus one, x to the power of n. Okay, but now what I want to show you, if you decided not doing the expanded form, you can just differentiate, yes? You can just, because derivative of the sum is the sum of the derivatives. Yeah, you will just differentiate this. X to the power of n, derivative is n, x to the power of n minus one. But now, yeah, we still have to be, we still have to be careful because we, we have to think about the expanded form. When you expand this, the first line, the first term was constant. That means we lose it. We will we we lose after taking the derivative, the first term. That means we will start with one. Okay, that means this is the derivative of that power series. And I can, okay, that means this is the derivative. And now the, you can probably think this green box, which I did directly from the sigma notation, is slightly different, but it is the same. Because you can see we may, we may adjust the initial like index. Yeah, this is directly from the formula n x to the power of n minus one. But you can see n minus one and n. That's mean coefficient is one more, definitely right. And if we have that form, coefficient is also one more, n plus one. But if I start expanding this, substituting instead of n one for the first term, I will have one x to the power of zero. And then I will have two x to the power of one, 3x to the power of 2, and so on, which is exactly the same. That's we may manipulate with the, this is direct for the, the, the direct output of the differentiation, but if we are forced to change the index to 0, yeah, we will add 1 because we like losing 1. That's we have to add 1 to each n. 
n will become n plus one, yes, and n minus one plus one is n. Or I can even rewrite, since we're talking about this, let me even rewrite this. Let's say I will ask you to rewrite starting from five. Yeah, that's me. Let's see how the formula will. We still have x to the power of, now we have to think the first term, the first term must be x to the power of zero, zero. That means I will put n minus five because this will give me zero. And the coefficient, it's one more. That means it will be uh, n minus four because if it's five, it's one, yes? That means this is also equivalent form. And now we can create infinitely many of them. Depends what is the initial value. Yeah, but especially the rewriting between n equals to one and equals to zero. But even this one is correct. Okay? And we definitely losing that term. Okay, I have one or two more and you will be perfect. Let's integrate. Now let's integrate this power series. Uh, first of all, what I will do, I will rewrite the, oh, did I type it? Oh no, I didn't type, okay. I will rewrite a little bit because I see negative x squared to the power of n. This is negative one to the power of n and x squared to the power of n because this form will isolate the constant, okay? And now if we would like to integrate this, let me do the sigma form. Okay, dx, we integrating integral of the sum is the sum of integration. That means we will we not losing anything for integration. And now I will copy constant and only integrate the variable x to the power of 2n. Integral of x to the power of 2n is x to the power of 2n plus 1 all over 2n plus 1. And we're gaining a constant. That's, that's the proper way, okay? Yes, that's, that's the integration, integration. That's, this is the integral. If we like the formula, okay, we will integrate. And what is the, what is the expanded form? If n is zero, we have one, correct? And then if n is one, we will have uh, x to the power of two. And then we will have x to the, if n is two, we will have positive x to the power of four, x to the power of six, x to the power of eight, and so on. Okay. And when we integrate, we will have x. Let me, x minus x cubed over three, x to the power of five over five, minus x to the power of seven over seven, x to the power of nine over nine, and so on. And we adding a constant c. And when we look at the pattern, yes, we can, we recognize all odd numbers. One, three, five, seven, nine, that's odd numbers, two and plus one. And we dividing by the odd numbers, the same, three, five, seven, nine, two and plus one. And it's alternating, that's mean negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Okay, I don't like this corrections. Let's put properly positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. And it's negative one to the n. Everything makes sense starting from zero because when n is zero, x to the power of one is the first term. Just double checking. Negative one to the zero is positive. The first term is positive. That means we may do the expanded form and then work on the pattern, or we may just grab the sigma notation and the integrate in this case. Okay. One more, okay, one more and we will be done. Okay, let's differentiate this one. Negative one to the n, x to the power of two n plus one uh, over two n plus one factorial. Okay, factorial, oh, that's, it's actually similar. No, it's different, it's different. Do you see, I because now I have similar formula and we have to differentiate, it's okay. They all are similar. Okay, as so we have to differentiate, differentiate. Let's maybe say this way. We differentiating, 
let's say prime. We know what prime means, derivative. Okay, that's what is the derivative? Derivative of x is just one. And derivative of x cubed is 3x squared, and we copy the constant. Derivative of x to the power of 5 is 5x to the power of 4, and we copy a constant. We differentiate it, okay. 7x to the power of 6, copy the constant, and so on. Okay, and now we may also work a little bit on the pattern if we like. This is one, this is 3x squared. Um, 3 factorial is 3 times 2 factorial, correct? Just try it. 5 factorial is 5 times 4 factorial. 7 factorial is um, seven times six factorial and so on. why i did this because we can cancel this out and let's see what formula we can create uh, we have x to the power of n and actually it's even number two four six i can say two n and the same factorial two n factorial okay and if n is zero, then we have to the power of one, it's one, okay? And we have also alternation, negative one to the n, zero will give us positive and negative, okay? So this is sigma form based on the pattern that I did of the expanded form, but we may reach this differentiating directly. Let's differentiate this formula. Now, Shall I start from zero or from one? I think from zero because I still have to think about the expanded form and especially the first term. We may notice the first term is x. Yes, the first term is not constant. We're not losing. We do have derivative of x, one. That's we starting from zero. And now let's do the shortcut. Copy constant. Negative one to the n is constant. 2n plus one factorial is constant. And we will just differentiate 2n x to the power of 2n plus 1. Derivative of, of x to the power of 2n plus 1 is 2n plus 1 times x to the power of 2n plus 1 minus 1. And you can see we can simplify because negative 1 to the n, 2n plus 1, x to the power of 2n plus 1 minus 1, and 2n plus 1 factorial, I can rewrite as a 2 fact, 2n factorial times 2n plus 1. And this is cancel out, and we're getting the same formula. That means either way, if you like the sigma right away, yeah, that means derivative of this original problem is sigma from n0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n, x to the 2n over 2n factorial. x to the 2n over 2n factorial, the same thing. But what I did, the last line, I just differentiate directly from the formula. I copy this, I copy this, and I only differentiate this one. Yeah, only this one. And you can see that's the green part. We know the derivative of the power function. Okay, I think... You can enjoy your integration and differentiation of the power series. Please, please redo, as always, all of the problems from this session. And you will be confident. Thank you.